Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where today, in order to get that taste out of our mouths of the previous mission, I'm gonna talk to people. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean Collector Connection, can examine technology, chart Reaper species modification, fall of Prothean. That's huge. <laughs> like what? Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination. Can guess captured Prothean's lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul replaced by tech. Whatever they were, gone forever. Understand now? No art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies, one wins, one loses, always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what Collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before, don't mean to imply that, just committed now. Won't let you down. Yeah, he wouldn't have gone into this if he if we hadn't done his loyalty mission. So now he's like super invested. You said the collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution. Interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the game. No, and it totally makes sense, right? Like, where, like, the arts and sciences are actually more connected than you might think, which I think is why, like, the natural sciences, like, back in the day, like, it kind of encompassed, like, a lot of things. It encompassed philosophy. It encompassed, like, mathematics, you know? Like, it's, it's a way of observing and, like, interpreting the world, you know? I'm sorry, I know that was important, <laughs> but you perform Gilbert and Sullivan? <laughs> oh. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. <laughs> My xenoscience <laughs> studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist solarian. He's not bad. He's not bad. <laughs> also, I hate, I hate <laughs> that you can't. <laughs> you just you just stare at him. I love that they edited that it in for him. The the dancing, the sing or the moving, the singing, and then the <laughs> Because I wish they would have given Shepard the option to like clap or be like, what? <laughs> you know? Nope, she's just she's just a board. She's just a wooden board. What is it about the collector's modifications that bothers you so much? disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations. Limitation, no advancement. No advancement. Culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. You blame the Salarians for what the Krogan did? Yes, like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight, technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone, worked out aggression, been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Salarians came, disrupted Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Rachni. Short-sighted. Foolish. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That, or kill them all. If around during first contact, would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. Yeah, I mean, you do with you work with what you got, you know. 
Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morden. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Thank you me. for being here, man. I love Morden. He's a good. He's a good man. Good man. Let's see. Kelly might have things to say. How may I help you? Today? No. That'll be all. I, I'll be here. No. Come I know. I know. Would like to talk but I have to read these. Wait. What? Oh, was the other one? I, the other thing I must have clicked on was the archive messages. I was like, oh my gosh, I thought I had a gazillion. We did a little due diligence. The coordinates, yeah, yeah, yeah. Including intel of a sensitive nature. Do what you will with the blue suns. I certainly will. Is this the, yeah, this is another spam. Uh-huh. As a batarian, I oh my gosh, a batarian. They do scams like this too. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to talk to the elusive man. Uh da, da, da. oh we I should go talk to Jacob. Um because I don't know how these spam things are getting through the filters. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. Maybe not the best way to learn about the relatives, but I'm glad it's done. What do you need? Mm-hmm. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? Oh, okay. I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. All right. We'll talk later. Commander. I guess his is, uh, is pretty cut and dry. <laughs> I'm well aware. Everybody's living on the third floor. That's because everyone's afraid to live with Grunt and Jack and Zaid. That whole floor is terrifying, except for Tali, but she can hold her own. The poor, uh, the poor engineers down there. They're like, oh, they only have Tali to protect them from very scary individuals. Was it? Hmm? Okay. Shepard Commander. We have completed our analysis of the Reaper's data core. Did you find anything useful? We were sent to the old machine to preserve the Geth's future. We are prepared to reveal how. The heretics have developed a weapon to use against Geth. You would call it a virus. It is stored on a data core provided by Sovereign. Over time, the virus will change us, make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. So the virus would give all Geth the heretics logic, and all Geth would then go to war with organics. Yes, Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. Which is one of those things where it's like, you know, oh, like unity, you know, is a good idea, but at the same time, like forcing a belief, like how far are you willing to allow individualism to go? You know what I mean? Like, is it, I don't know, it's interesting. There's, there's a whole philosophical, several philosophical arguments you could have with just this alone. <laughs> I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes, the equivalent of your nervous system. An equation with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. We will reach different conclusions. So the reason they worship the Reapers is a math error? It is difficult to express. Your brain exists as chemistry, electricity. Like AIs, you are shaped by both hardware and software. We are purely software, mathematics. The heretic's conclusion is valid for them. Our conclusion is valid for us. Neither result is an error. An analogy. Heretics say one is less than two. Geth say two is less than three. I mean, I get it, right? Like, yeah, it's just two different conclusions that neither side originally saw as wrong, but now the heretic's being influenced by... The Reapers um, are. I think you can indoct. I think you can indoctrinate them. It might be slightly different with Geth, where it's like just basically introduce like a, maybe a runtime error or something 
to like change like a code difference to like change the way they perceive things um and so now the geth or the other the heretics are like we should all think like this and the original reason that the geth are the well that's oversimplifying but like he said the geth currently all geth originally wanted to be able to self-determinate as like sentient individuals you know so why did you need to go to the reaper corpse the heretics store the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. If it were released, how quickly would this virus spread through your people? We are networked via FTL convoys. Most would change within a day. Isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoined the network. Know where this thing is? The Heretics Headquarters Station on the edge of the terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. They build stations in the terminus? Where is this thing? Between stars. Organics have no cause to look there. But why do they build stations outside Geth territory in the first place? The Heretics seek improvement from the old machines. In exchange, they help them attack organics. We condemn these judgments. I know, I'm pretty sure he says it at some point about why he's got a giant hole in its body. But I can't remember off the top of my head why it is and why it didn't get fixed. What's the plan once we get aboard? The Geth will disrupt their network, prevent the station's defenses from focusing on us. The Reaper data core is physically isolated from the network. We will need to be escorted to it to access and destroy the data. What defenses should we expect? In space, none. Within, mobile platforms of various configuration and non-sentient defense turrets. How many geth? There may be billions of individual programs. Fortunately, most will be uploaded to the central computer. Only a few mobile platforms are maintained at any time. Others are manufactured when needed. I won't let them brainwash your race. Especially not to worship Reapers. You have my word on that. We will begin preparations. Oh, yes. This is a good one. It's a good mission. Also one that it's good to bring Tally on. Whereas it's good to bring Legion to Tallies. It's good to bring Tally to Legions. <laughs> but... We're gonna go talk to Thane. <laughs> I don't, I don't think things will change. We'll see. We'll see. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Of course. Yes! Join yes! me. Yes! I've been thinking about oh. you. And I, Oh you. boy. Will you hear my confession, Sia? Oh my gosh, I wasn't. I, I'm ready. Oh my gosh. Last time we talked like this, you said you'd explain what Siha means. <laughs> I need to explain myself to you first. <laughs> when I married Erika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family, but I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius Commission because I didn't know what else to do. Not the healthiest attitude to take on a mission. You're right, it's not. Looking back now, it's clear I'd resigned myself to death. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target, forcing me to move faster, challenging me. I had to reach her first. I had no idea you planned to die in there. It wasn't a plan. My body had accepted its death. My mind had been dead a long time, but I met another Sia. Few are privileged to meet even I'm gonna... one. You still haven't told me what a Sia oh is. Oh my gosh. One of the warrior angels of the goddess Arashu. Fierce in wrath, a tenacious protector. I confess, I've come to care for you. Perhaps I'm being foolish. We are very different. Legitimately, I cannot help getting butterflies every time. Every time. I 
love him so much and like it's i feel like it's like a healthy thing where like he brings up like his like he loved his wife like truly and like she was like a protector but different we're very different right and so like it's not like he's saying like because he loved erica and i think he still he still does but like he has room in his heart for somebody new and like he's allowing himself to live again and maybe it's me being selfish but i think erica would be happy knowing that he's able to find a light again you know what i mean anyway i'm just gonna be i'm gonna be sentimental about this i'm not sure we know each other well enough to call it love but i feel something for you too <laughs> something more than it's so love. cheesy i've never felt affection for another species I'm not sure what to do now. I'll just have to figure it out. <laughs> I look forward <laughs> to the memories. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Every time I feel like I've won the lottery. <laughs> do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? You needn't ask. Time for me is short, Siha. But any I have is yours to take. How are you feeling? No worse than ever. You needn't worry. And you, you are well. Oh, that's, oh, that's bad. That's a bad, <laughs> bad line. Um, it's a little, the hand holding things, a little cheesy, I feel. But, um, I don't know. I feel like it's, uh, it's cute too. Like, but I don't know. It's a little cheesy. I'll admit. But, I'm here, I'm, I don't know, I'm like, I'm here for it, but I'm also like, it's a little cheesy. <laughs> no need to worry about me. How are you holding up? I'm looking forward to the end of the mission. It has been many years since I felt I could relax anywhere. I spent two years dead. Every moment seems irreplaceable now. I spent ten years dead. I understand the feeling. Strange that I should only reawaken now, when there is so little time left. <laughs> That's kind of how it is, at least in the stories, and like in like from what I hear about real life sometimes, right? Like it's that whole like you kind of you end up getting this like timer, and all of a sudden you're like, well, what's like life is short. Like I should do the things that I want to do that I enjoy. You know, I should love. I should take maybe risks. You know, I should do those things that I always said I would do later. You know, um, so. I don't know, finding the love of your life, potentially, a, a, lo a love of your life, you know, in maybe the darkest point in your life. It doesn't seem like a totally unrealistic thing. Also, though, it's just going to break me in heart. It's going to break me in half, because he brings it up a lot. There you are. I have to admit, he <laughs> has a certain mystique about him. He's not my type, but I get it. He really likes you, though. Those big black eyes of his go a flutter when he talks what? about you. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, she knows what to say. Jacob deserves better than a father oh, like that. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I probably would have wanted to shoot him too. I'm glad to hear Thane and his son are back in touch. It'll be hard, but I think they'll be fine. Come back later. Sure, I know, I've been neglecting Kasumi a bit because she does have things to say. But oh my gosh, his eyes go all a flutter. Like, don't. Oh, my heart. Like, to have a man like that fall in love with you would be, like, I think overwhelming. I probably killed my fish. Would be overwhelming. I did. Frick. <laughs> I can't. It could be very overwhelming, but Shepard is very a very strong powerful woman and uh is the equal of thing and this is what happens that was the picture of Caden once you initiate the mass effect 2 romance if you had a romance in mass effect 1 and their picture was here you now it's now face down because we have initiated our romance with thing how exciting little hamster I'm alive again. Well, and it's interesting, right, that, like, Shepard and Thane both spent, like, a portion of their lives, like, dead, air quotes, like, how, well, I mean, Shepard was pretty dead, and, like, th according to Thane's, like, philosophy, like, he was essentially dead. So, 
I'm looking to make sure we could talk to Grunt and see what he's got to say in Zaid. I don't know, so, so it's an interesting parallel between the two. Shepard? Just checking in. How are you doing? I'm branching out. Got a list of enemies now. They all give me joy when I picture cutting them, crushing them. There's this one imprint, a Solarian with the... What are they? The, the things on his head pulled apart? <laughs> Bet it caused a generation of revenge. What is that, a few weeks for them? So what did you want? Uh, Don't wear yourself out on someone else's memories. We've got our own bad guys to fight. Your enemies are my enemies. We'll shove the Collector's Claws where a dark sun can't shine. And they will deserve it. I won't disrespect their strengths by doing less than the worst to them. This isn't going well, I think. <laughs> to be fair, at some point I just kind of give up on paragoning or even being neutral with Grunt. I don't know, you can try, but it kind of... I don't know. What Grunt isn't saying, like, he wants to go around just murdering everybody willy-nilly, but, like, he's understanding, like, the, like, battle like lust I guess you know in I, I don't, maybe I'm not gonna say it very well but introspection just kind of sent you off the rails didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> see now we're having fun me remembering good deaths and you with your your funny human thing you're doing <laughs> my job is to hurt things mm -hmm. direction control that's your job battle master you're why I'm a soldier not dead or crazed like an animal. Thank you, Shepard. You gave me purpose. Now let's find something big to kill. I think it's partially like like any sort of rage he has, he wants to be like directed in a purposeful way. And so like he doesn't want to just run around murdering things willy nilly. Like if he's going to like make a statement with like a death, like by like killing something, like he's going to make that statement knowing full well that it is a statement, what the statement is, and like how to get it across, you know. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Do it. Can't say I blame Taylor's part. Wah! A man does what he has to do to survive. Uh Ran up against the Batarian camp, not too different from that one. Job was to erase the whole thing from the map. Men, women, and the man in charge. Learned that day that despots are cowards. You show them you're in charge, not them, and they cry like little girls. Man, I liked you a lot. Now you're le now I like you less, honestly. It's like, well, you'll do what you gotta to survive. He didn't do what he had to do to survive. He did what he did out of, like, a petty tyranny. Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit oh, yeah. two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hannah. Damn jellyfish nearly choked me to death. Wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a Hannah since. You say that, but apparently they don't send out their own assassins. They have Drell for that. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. But apparently, when you, when you, if one can get close enough, you better watch out. Let's see. We don't have tallies yet, Jack. I think we're done chatting with Miranda. Uh, yeah, we are. I remember we tried last time. Garrus, we still need. Samara, Legion, Kasumi, Jacob, and Morden, we already talked to. Okay. We're getting there. See, the thing is, is it's like, la la la, we're getting all these, la la la, look, hang on, I'm trying to click the button, oh. We're getting all these, these missions done, we're getting all our friends all ready to go, but little do you guys know, we have a whole other category <laughs> here of things to do. It's actually not too many, and some of them are DLCs. We still haven't done that one? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh yeah. The Arrival DLC, too. Or is that a deal? I don't think that's a DLC. Maybe it is. I don't know. I can't remember. I think it is. I can't remember all the DLCs now. Um, but here's the other other thing is that while that may not look like a ton of side missions right now, I still have to scan the entire galaxy looking for every single mission where we land on a planet. <laughs> and that is going to take some time. 
you guys won't have to watch all of that. You'll just be around whenever I do land on those planets because I enjoy landing on them. It's fun. So, anyway, this one might be a little bit short, but I'm gonna leave it here because uh, my happiness has been achieved. Truly, of all things, to follow up and make things better from the last episode, getting the love of my life. And I, I just, I feel like I don't explain it well enough, but I really, really love him a lot. <laughs> Like, that. Anyway, I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna have to get my thoughts down properly in my own head before I try to freaking talk about it, but... I'm sure I've said it before in other videos somewhere, so... Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron, and an extra special thank you to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest. Thank you so much for your support, and once again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.